means, every device, every means. Okay, we're on Facebook Live. We're still distributing, you know, as many people on the email list. We send them emails daily of the same teaching note, and the production of the ebooks goes on. It's made available on gsom.ac, on the Kingdom Boost Club, and then, you know, for the Asian sector, they have made available the video of the teachings are put on, on YouTube so that people can have it. These are not our product. We, we don't have proprietary rights. It's kingdom culture assignment. The Lord said there was going to be a grace he would release upon the teaching commission that we don't have to teach people physically for them to receive the revelation of his own word. And that is a sign that the Holy Spirit is behind it. And that's why we're so excited when we see people take on responsibility to teach others, to run centers. We're excited. And our job is just to facilitate their being able to expand. You can imagine what will happen if everybody who goes through each training takes responsibility to reach out to five other people, 10 other people, 20 other people, 100 other people, there'll be an explosion worldwide. So brothers, it appears a lot of people would love for us to have a second session tomorrow morning, uh, at same time, um, at 10.30, London time, till 12 noon. Uh, today, we will still keep, we're going to keep to time. At 12 noon, we we'll close for the day. Uh, did I see Pastor Collins on, uh, in Alumaco? Is, is it Pastor Collins I saw? And who else wanted to no, share? No, Okay. Was it also Pastor Jacinta? Who else wanted to share there? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's understanding. Okay. So the So you have to be fasting with a strong faith. We should be employed where we can encounter a stubborn situation. So we pray and fast. For some people, they are, when they are fasting, so they, they, they don't have faith. So they, they don't have that faith to believe in God, but they, they just fast. So at the end of the day, there are no resources. So when we pray and fasting, and we believe in God, that God will do this. So may God give us grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Another one is that the first, uh, first John chapter 3, he said that you should love, uh, love your neighbor as love yourself. That we should love our brother. So that we, we walk in the uh, in the light. When we hate each other, so we are not walking in the light, whether you are born again or not. So you have to walk in the light. Love your brother, love your brethren. So that uh, that is where God will lead you to, uh, to light. When we do not uh, love our brother, when we are claiming that we are born again, so we are not born again. Love your brother and your sisters. So that was I understand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She made a direct point when you meet a stubborn situation. Past, persistent prayer and then faith, you know. No need praying without believing. And then uh, also talk about love. Thank you so much. But where is your issues resolved? I see Pastor Charles, Pastor Chris, um, and Dr. Baku. Is it okay now? Okay, speak. Let's see whether we can hear you. Is anybody hearing them? No, it's not. It's not. It's not audible. It's not audible. They are hearing us, but we are not hearing them. Okay. So, uh, was there uh, somebody in uh, Alumaco that wanted to say something again before we go to Kenya? Yes, Apostle. Amen. Uh, just, Amen. Just, okay, hold on. Kenya is ready. Let him come. Yes, Pastor Jacinta, go, go ahead. Pastor Jacinta. Yeah, I have to appreciate you very much for allowing God to use you to make us come to this knowledge of spirit, soul, and body. I've realized that um, the, our spirit, man, is very, very important. And it's always my desire 
that my spirit man come above my body and my soul so that I can do the will of Elohim. Because I've realized that it's through my spirit man that I can connect with the supernatural. Uh, uh, supernaturally, I can abide with the Elohim. So it's my desire that uh, I might decrease and Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah, increase in me so that when the world sees me, they see Christ in me. When my neighbors see me, they can testify that for sure uh, Christ is abiding in me. That is my desire every time. So this course has really helped me. It has helped me realize the importance of my spiritual man. Because without our spiritual man being elevated and being in holiness, then we cannot meet God. The Holy Spirit cannot reside in us. So that, uh, it's my desire every time that I keep watch on my spirit man, the state of my spirit man, where it is. Am I allowing Elohim, am I allowing uh, Yeshua Mesha to stay in me, to abide in me? Because the Bible says that it is the vine and the we are the branches and the branches who does not uh, have fruit, who are fruitless, will be cut away. No, that is not my portion. That is why I'm working every day, every minute on my spirit so that I can see that Yeshua uh, Meshach uh, uh, is residing me, is abiding in me, and I'm fruitful. I'm giving out the fruit. Hallelujah. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, Papa, for uh, making us, availing us to come to this knowledge of, of, of the spirit, soul, and body. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor Jesse. Thank you for representing the Kenya class. Uh, I think Pastor Susan has eventually come in. Yes, thank you again, Pastor JC, for sharing and for the, the fervency of your quest to be all that God meant you to be. Pastor Susan, do you want to share what you have received from this course so far? Okay, Pastor Susan. All right, so... Who was the first person we called today? Um, okay, Pastor Susan, go ahead. Uh, Apostle, uh, I'm, I'm in a noisy place. Um, okay. uh, I'll not be able to share. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Pastor Gilas, was there somebody from Alumaku who wanted to speak uh, other than two, other than three of you that have spoken? After which, Minister Anne will come again. Uh, Prophetess Virginia will come. Uh, Pastor Vinod, uh, Pastor Priya, mm -hmm. Minister Michelle. One one minute each contribution. One one minute. It's so sad that our brethren in Oweri, Oweri, and they are loaded. They are loaded. You see, Pastor Charles there and Pastor. Uh, Chris and uh, Pastor uh, uh, Silas, they are all ready to, to offload, but this device is, is disturbing. Um, uh, Dr. Ubaku, any news? All right. That's the Gino sister of Pastor Grace. You know, she's the registrar of the Global School of Ministry. Uh, Lomaku, can we just give a clap offering, Pastor G? That's the one Pastor Grace who followed Pastor Grace all through until she too married. And she's now has a whole lot of children that are grown up now also. Thank you, Dr. Bak. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's hear from Ms. Anne. One minute now. Amen. Um, Pastor, I really don't have a whole lot more to say except that. Um, the sanctification process is 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 something that is lifelong. So you know, as we grow and mature in the Lord, um, we will we will find that we um, we will operate more in the spirit than we will in the flesh, and that it becomes a it becomes dominating. The more and more we um, draw closer to the Lord, the more and more we get into His Word, the more and more we have teachings like this that um, come to uh, show us the difference between 
uh, walking in the spirit and walking in the flesh because sometimes we don't even realize we're in the flesh until a teaching like this comes and shows us that, oh, that's an aspect of walking in the flesh or that's an aspect of walking in the spirit. So I am um, very, very thankful again for this um, for these teachings and that I know that it's a process. It's not something that's going to happen overnight, but it's something that's going to happen if I continue to hunger and thirst after what is um, right before my father, because I want to be just like him. And in order to be like him, I have to uh, walk in uh, what he has given me to walk in. And that is his word. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Anne, for that transparent conversation. Yes, sanctification. One of the things that really messed up the teaching on sanctification is the holiness movement got it wrong as if it's something historic. I was born again, so so and so day, sanctified, so so and day, filled with the Holy Spirit, so so and so day. And then it is taught in that definite uh, uh, way. And you know what happens today, where is one in his walk with the Lord? And because of that tendency towards glorifying the historic uh, day, that experience happened, they don't understand. Brothers and sisters, sanctification can be something that is lifelong. There is an instantaneous that arises from a crisis experience when we see the way we are, things are so, we are not making much progress. We are struggling with unforgiveness, struggling with uh, pain, struggling with this. We cry to the Lord. He takes off that Adamic nature that makes it possible. Then, even though we are liberated right there, as human beings, whenever the flesh begins to come again, we go to the Lord, and we're not ashamed. We're not looking at anybody. This is something that will, the mirror is for us, basically. And can I say something that will help all of us very radically? Listen, let's get to a place in our walk with the Lord. If you know you have hatred in your heart, don't speak to anybody. Go deal with that. If you know you have unforgiveness in your heart, anything you say will come from a poisoned heart. It will never edify. It will never bless. So don't. Can we come to a place where if you have an issue unresolved in your heart, in fact, leave off preaching and teaching. Go and sort it out with the Lord. And it may not be more than one minute. It may not be more than three minutes. And the Lord sorts it out. And so, brothers and sisters, the Lord is with us. Let's keep on. Tomorrow, same time, we're going to have a second session. We have only 13 minutes now. We can have about 10 people. Take one minute each. So those people I just called, you know, um, Minister Michelle, um, Pastor Vinod, uh, uh, Pastor Priya, Dr. Jonas, you know, um, the people in a arise if they can come on. Otherwise, Pastor Vinod come in. And then um, Apostle Jackie will come in. Mr. Messi, uh, Pastor Messi will come in. Um, Jacob and Kuna. Let's take one, one minute each. And Apostle Russell, if you're available, just one minute, release the word. And then we'll wrap up today. And then tomorrow, same time, we have a second session. Any other, people, any other people you can release, yes. I just wanted to say, um, as it was counted unto Abraham as righteousness because he was obedient, just like um, faith without works is dead, um, like our spirit without our body is dead. So if we hear the word and we don't do it, our faith is, our, our work is in vain. So as we hear the word, and don't apply it to our lives. It, our religion is, it, it's just a vain religion. I mean, we have to always continue to walk with the Lord and do as he says. So our faith without works won't be dead. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mr. Michelle. Yes, the others, including Prophet Burial, Dr. Jonas. Yes, Dr. Jonas, go ahead. Uh, Apostle George, I must say that uh, 
these teachings have really transformed my life. Previously, I have uh, taken many, many, many courses, even theological courses. But, uh, you know, when my wife encouraged me to take this, I took, uh, I think, more than two, two, two years to, uh, to venture into this. And when I took it, my, I'm telling you, this has really transformed me. So, uh, 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 briefly, I can say that uh, I'm excited that Elohim wants me to be sanctified wholly, wholly, in the realm of spirit, soul, and body, wholly, not only one-sided. So, I must be sanctified. So, uh, I am so excited that I am transmitting this to others, but it starts with me. Unless I change, unless I transform, I won't speak life to people out there. And I'm telling you, uh, I must say that uh, thank you so much, uh, Apostle. And uh, one thing that I want to say is that uh, I am emphasizing to people when we have uh, seminars and so forth. When we finish, I say, unless you apply vitamin A to what you have learned, it is absolutely a uh, nuisance or nonsense. Uh, it won't help you. What do I mean by vitamin A? I mean application of what you have learned is paramount, is very important. Two, three months down the line, see your life. I was still where you have been before. Or are you really changing? Are you transforming? Thank you so much. This is just awesome to me, and God bless you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Jonas. Thank you for the fervency of spirit. I remember uh, when I first met your wife, uh, Evangelist Simpo, you know, uh, I think that was in, uh, um, where was it again, Prophet Virginia? I think that was, where in the Northwest, uh, that city, the mining city, what's it called? Rustenberg. Rustenberg. You know, yes, that's where we first saw her. And, you know, the word of the Lord came and the way she took it, the way she received it, you know, it was so evident that this was going to be somebody who would be a catalyst. And I'm glad that, you know, the Lord used her to bring you into. And, you know, Prophet Virginia is always talking about the great work you are doing. And Shoshengue was a place we had the very first school of ministry, but it didn't abide. Somebody came from Zimbabwe and, you know, took them off course and they, they, they just went off course. And look at what the Lord has done. You are now doing a more enduring work. You produce your first set of graduates and you are working on the second set of people. Yes, let's have one, one minute. Those people who are called uh, Alumaco also will come in. Those, please, everybody unmute. Anybody who is ready? All of you on the line, you can all do a one minute. Yes, Apostle, I'd like to uh, share, uh, add a few more things. Uh, I feel that uh, God has introduced me um, to this topic through AMP uh, because uh, he wants me to uh, go through this process of sanctification. And I understand through this course that uh, sanctification of uh, spirit, soul, and body is not uh, imposed by God. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to... Mm -hmm understand the uh, need for it because God expects every one of us to um, be preserved blameless uh, until the time he comes and uh, that's how God expects the body of uh, Christ to be prepared for uh, his coming and also unless until we are blameless we will not earn the right to eat from the tree of life so I understand uh, this mm -hmm. and I consider this uh, very important and um, thank you very much. Uh, and the way I need to work, I had to introspect myself. This course is enabling me to introspect myself and to uh, work. Now, working um, on this human nature is not, uh, sanctification is not uh, uh, physical. It is a process which is, uh, it's a spiritual process. And um, to attain that uh, 
state of uh, perfection. I need to work on different aspects, as I mentioned earlier. There are so many aspects. Uh, it's intellect, it's memory, imagination, it is body, soul, and mind. And uh, I'm really privileged to come to this understanding through this course. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Priya. Yes, the others will speak. Just observe the one minute rule so that we can be. And those on Facebook Live, I mean, you are really engaging. Those on your Facebook Live, if you want to be on the Zoom tomorrow, send an inbox. We'll send it to you. We had a hacking attack some months ago that made us we didn't want to share this publicly. We will send it to you on request, please. Um, those on Facebook Live. But otherwise, tomorrow, it will still be on Facebook Live if you want to be on Facebook Live. That's okay. But conversation is good because we are learning. We are learning. Everyone is learning. Nobody comes to the apex of knowledge. We learn every day through every occasion. Yes. Anybody want to speak or mute one second? I mean, one minute maximum. Yes, Prophet Berry. I am very happy for this course because it's helping me to um, to draw even closer to the Lord. It's also helping me to understand what the new human nature is um, and what we deal with e each and every day. And so I um I am I'm I'm happy that I am introduced to this course and that I um. I can go deeper into the course little by little, even when the course is finished, I'll continue um, digging deep into it because it has opened my eyes to so many things and see, I can see the things that um, all of us struggle with daily and the things that we um, are doing right. And uh, we need to um, continuously sanctify ourselves before the Lord. So Amen. That is Amen. what I wanted to say. Thank you so much. And thank you. Let me also give us a little bit of practical, uh, something practical. You know, this commission, we had two major, two major tracks it and used against what God wanted to do to liberate his saints worldwide. Two major attacks. One was the attack of people because everything is free. So even when the Holy Spirit wants people to so to support it, which should be the normal thing, you go to a place, they are observing kingdom principles. You know what? Oh, no, no, they have money. You know, they do hear what God... And the enemy uses that rumor. So people will go back. And what will keep us going, just that confidence in God, then from time to time, he raises one person or two people, and through their support, things keep going. And we realize that Satan's target is to see whether you corrupt our heart to feel bad, to feel sad and offended, or whether we are going to trust the Lord, that if this is his assignment, he knows who you raise. Even now, even at this stage, we are supposed to be among the most comfortable ministers if just 10% of people who have been liberated, been empowered worldwide, will engage somehow financially. Even 10% will have all that is needed. But you know what? Only a handful. And what did he do? God opened her eyes. Okay, look up to me alone. If I send this assignment, I'm going to make it happen. So we can look up to the Lord alone. And the few people he uses to come alongside, the work keeps going on. You know, the second one was a terrible thing they call shetanic whisper. Somebody gave that name, shetanic whisper. Somebody who is offended with the truth will go on and begin to talk to people, nah, this is not a terrible, nah, this is not, huh, 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 huh. And somebody will spend six months, one year, to corrupt the heart of people from receiving the truth. And initially, as humans, we, we, we felt bad. But you know, many years ago, the Lord said, if it's my work, even Satan's work will work together for the good of my assignment. So if there's an unworthy person who will allow a satanic whisper to make him go, you didn't need that person. Just leave it. All the Father has given to you will come. And when they come, they will connect. When they connect, they will abide. And when they abide, they will abound. 
their spiritual life will appreciate. Everybody who knows them will know that they are being well fed and they will grow to become who God, you know? So I'm just giving you an instance to say, look to yourself. At times, God wants to take away our confidence in man. God wants to take away any distracting influence all the time, God wants us to come to a place where we look unto Yeshua, the utter and finish of our feet. Whatever that will make your eyes veer of him, the Lord will not allow it to happen. So please, Lord Self, look in. What are the particular ways Satan wants to fight you? What are the ways he uses people to try to cause you to stumble? Remember, there's no excuse under the sun. We cannot go before Lord say, well, because of that thing, that brother said against me, I got felt bad. And then that's the reason for the bitterness. No, we have a duty to ourselves. The beauty is to guard our heart with all diligence. Our mind, guard it. And anything that flies in that is contrary to the Lord, pull it down. And you know, brothers and sisters, these are important principles of life. A lot of people are loving to run around people we say to everybody, don't run around us. Yeshua. Be built up in Yeshua. Be built up in the world. And we thank the Lord for that because it means we can, he has given us the grace to handle situations we wouldn't have handled, you know, when we began. So what is your challenge? What area can you pick something from the Lord for what this course has helped you? Who wants to share one thing or the other in just half a minute? on something you've learned for life application. Yes, yes Oweri. Oweri. Our Oweri. <laughs> this is our Jerusalem. I'm always excited. Come along. Come in. Briefly. Can you hear us now, sir? Yes. Okay, sir. Sir, actually, what I learned from the uh, lesson is that uh, God created us in his image and after his likeness. And he gave us body, soul, and spirit. And this is intended for us to work towards holiness and sanctification. No, and the God wants us to connect with him with our spirit and be using our physical body to work for him. And that is why his intention is for us to be, to be holy and be sanctified for his use. You know, and God sanctifies us with his blood and in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written in the, in the scripture of Ruth that we are sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God. Another way God sanctifies us is through our experiences in life. God would also want, uh, uh, would want us to go through certain experiences in order to be sanctified and be fortified to do His work. Another way God sanctifies us is through our attitude. Our attitude in life is also Certain things, you know, the, the way we behave, the way we react to certain things would make us know whether we are in God or not. Okay. You know, okay, so sorry. Can we let Pastor Charles also speak so that because our time is actually limited? Yes, sir. It's very exciting to be in this. In fact, this class can be called a big day class. We are a lot of things are in a, a salvation and in nature, teaching us what we could not have known. And so I'm so grateful that we have made you know that the true nature of man has made us to be your image of God, but why the spirit man? I can because they say we should the standard of this uh, God is Christ, and it was really so difficult for me to understand it. But with this true nature and the spirit man, we are the God's presence is, has now really given me the ability to believe myself that I can make heaven. And besides, I am now with this privilege class or the Global School of Ministry, I now 
have released those who denied me one thing or the other. Because there are people who should have trained me and I should have been in America now. I hate that family because they, they did not have returned the, 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 the help my father gave to them. So I am now privileged to know that any denial or any punishment is not to kill me, it's not anything, but to train me and make me a better human being. So God bless you too much because you are, if I go to kingdom, it's you. And the account will come to you. I'm very grateful, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Hello. Thank you so much, Pastor Charles. <laughs> Pastor Charles is very transparent. <laughs> It is well, Pastor Charles. The Lord bless you all. Dr. Baku, did you want to say something? Yes, sir. Okay, we give her the opportunity to say, okay, go ahead, Dr. Baku. This is a very close understanding of human nature has really helped me, especially in the area that if you must live that life, <laughs> the likeness of God, you must not, you must drop yourself okay, away. Your self sacrifice, your own self interests. Because sometimes we don't even understand when we are doing things in our own interests. We might think we are just moving. But this very cause has kept me, let me use the language diagonize, able to diagonize within me what things that I do, things that I think, the way I am following it. Whether is it in my own interest or is it in the interest of through the will of God or am I doing this to serve God, to follow God, to do what he really wants me to do? So in my services to God, humanities, even here in Global School of Ministry, in my family, wherever I am, I now think, God, what do you want me to do? Is this part, this thing I am, this decision I am taking now, is it what you want me to do? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. That's the genius sister of Pastor Grace, uh, the registrar of the Global School of Ministry in Oweri. And that's at Jerusalem. And the other one, Alumaku, is our traditional home. And they have the Global School of Ministry right there and altar of the Lord. Now, listen, brothers and sisters, we promise you 12 noon. Now, 12 is up. If you don't mind, we break today. Or do you want us to take extra 13 minutes to now make it 12.20? Is that what you want? Yes. 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 Extra, yes. Okay. Extra 13 minutes. And we close for today. Tomorrow, same time, we continue. Okay. Those who have not spoken, just one minute, please, so that we can have up to 10 people speak. Yes. Just unmute and speak. Amen. Yes. You know, this course made me to understand that we we'll still have a um, spiritual psychology and psychological aspects in which uh, God has revealed through Apostle Judge that we should take good care of our health. That's why we are running this race. Because it's when you are alive, you'll be able to complete the race. Yeah, he taught us on how to take care of ourselves, take a lot of water, exercise, and do other things that will help our health to be good, and which I practiced yesterday. I just might I say, yes, indeed, it is nice. Most of us spend money on things that are not uh, going to help our health, as he said in his teaching, and which is very good. So it is beneficial for us to take a lot of water, eat good food, and exercise our body. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, I struggle with water until some years. I struggle with exercise until some years, you know, and when I got on the exercise every day without any, it is almost impossible not to spend an hour walking, almost impossible. You know, there, there's a day, you know, there's an African proverb that when a man wakes up is his morning, water intentionally is only a few days I fail, but otherwise consciously take water since we know these things now. Yes, for one minute, those who have not spoken the second time, please, for one minute. Um, I thank God that she brought that aspect of, 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 of the body and taking care of our body because that's really what was in the mind you know 
when you 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 in the course you you explain it so so vivid for us for some of us we get so so busy that sometimes we let the slip that we need to get at, at times where it's it's very it's very little that one but if you are conscious about it that you need to be fit for your master's use you need to be fit so that you know it will prolong the life you know it it becomes much better and you are giving god the service with your body so that aspect really was very important because uh sometimes some of us get busy and we negate such aspect and and that part of of just resting in the lord because we we want to do all things and we rush and rush and rush you know and while we were doing this course i guess in this time around um I guess when we we also did the fast, it it was just bringing the practicality of things that you know whatever that was stubborn in our lives was dealt away, and even the sanctification part. So it 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 we we were not just learning you know some theory, but there was a practicality to it. So that's a part I also enjoyed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And some of those on Facebook Live are asking some profound questions. Some ask some help they need, urgent need. Please send an inbox. Those of you who uh, wrote somebody particularly who says your faith is at risk right now, can you send an inbox so and see how we can arrange either to minister to you or we refer you to somebody closest to you, those on Facebook Live, okay? Yes, other people, please, who have not spoken the second time, just one minute, bullet point, you come on. Okay. So, glory to God, as I observed that, so as I secure my spiritual life uh, in the Lord, so as I focus upon him and uh, I mean, so sanctify myself and uh, live a holy life and uh, la, I mean, so, uh, means as I build my uh, means fellowship and the relationship with God, so surely I believe that the uh, I means so whoever it may be, if I am available to God, so God is always ready to uh, I means so use uh, in his kingdom to expand it. His kingdom. So really, this uh, uh, means a very wonderful time of uh, a discussion, and uh, so from different uh, uh, means of part of the world, the different opinions about the I mean, so the <clears throat> um, uh, about the I mean, so human nature. Really, uh, it is a blessed time uh, for me to uh, thank you, Apostle. Thank you, Pastor Vinod in Telangana, India. We bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. By the grace of the Lord, please, one thing the Lord wants to do, this network, he wants us to be whole, spirit, soul, body. There will be a peculiar network. Anywhere you meet anyone associated with this network is going to be a, you know, a game-changing uh, you know, encounter. Anywhere we are, we will be able to exercise that dominion when we are totally reconciled with the Father and we are whole, spirit, soul, and body, our spirit man is living above our emotion and we can love whether people do what we like or not. Love and like are not the same thing. Like has to do with emotional connection with something somebody does or good or bad, but love is in spite of, not because of. Love is in spite of, not because of. Learn to love. Learn to love. And all the things that involve in love, forgive, forward. Learn to, you know, not take too much on people. Not to take too much. Expect too high standard. I mean, would even because you are not looking for anything before you can love. The, 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 the standard you set for others is very low. And they set a very high standard for ourselves you know, high threshold for pain. These are practical things we can learn from this course. Okay. Any other person wants to say something, say that briefly, Pastor Joss, 30 seconds. If you had to use one or two or three words to describe the effect of this course on you, one, two or three words, what would they be? 
Yes, sir. I thank you, sir, for this course, for my own life. If she says that God wants to make us holy, what will be the outcome in our life? So the course that taught me, number one, holiness unto the Lord without pollution. If sanctification means holiness, that means to my life from now, I must make sure that the worst of the flesh must be mortified and be replaced by the fruit of the Spirit. Number three, I must live a life of beatitudes. Life of beatitudes. Number four, my words, which is more the full of wisdom. Thank you. And I also live a life of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Julius. Thank you so much. Yes, who else wants to say something? 30 seconds. You can use one or two words to describe this course. The effect of this course on you. What would that be? Yeah. Tandeka, are you able to say something? Esther Rani? One of or two words. Just... Yes, go ahead. Righteousness and peace and joy. Okay. Um... I'm learning and uh, uh, word of knowledge, word that's, of wisdom. That's fine. Righteousness and, and peace and joy. Thank you so yeah. much, Pastor Esther. Thank you. Yes, thank so where I wanted you. to say something. No, there's no volume. Oh, worry, there's no volume again. There's no volume. Don't worry. See, Mr. Sankiru, one word or two to describe the effect of this course on you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The effect of this course for me is that through this course, I have learned to govern my, the word of God has governed my attitude in everything. And also, whenever I'm faced with any challenges, I go back to the word of God to know what the word of God says concerning that situation. And what, of God, what the word of God says concerning me as a new creature. Okay. Thank you so much. That yes. Well, yes. Thank you, thank you. Those who have not spoken the second time, Pastor mm -hmm. Charles, I don't think, yes, go ahead, Pastor Charles. Yes, I now know that I, I can do nothing by myself, that all things are done by God. I now make myself available to depend on God because he's there, there for me. But in other times, I thought it is the extent that I can walk. But I don't know that somebody is ready, God there for me. To do all things, just believing him, just living a holy life, and it's over for me. So I'm grateful, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's all about the Lord. He is the power. He is the source. He is everything. He says, without me, you can do nothing. And the Lord just wants us to hold on to him. It's not by our struggle. It's by our faith. He, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. You know what? The Lord has been good to us. We have two more minutes. We can take from three people. That that second uh, apostle Russell. If we have one word, you describe this cause. What would that be? Um, one of the I guess emotions need to be dealt with. Damaged emotions need to be okay. dealt with. All right. Thank you. Right. Pain. Damage emotions need to be dealt with. Who else wants to try one word or one va one uh, passage to describe what is most important in this course? Uh, 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 Apostle George, let me just say this: Soli Dio Gloria. To all God be the glory. That's what I want to say. Thank you. It is Thank not so about much. my glory. Yes. But it is for God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Jonas. Pastor Jacinta, did you want to say anything? Uh, the Pastor Jacinta in uh, Ozaba, Alumaku. Did you want to say something? Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Yes. 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 Please, could you come to the front? Could you come to where Pastor, uh, where mini, uh, Pastor Gilos besides him there? Yeah. What, I, what I understood, I didn't come on time. Okay, they've been knocked off. 
Who else wants to say something? We have just one minute more. Okay, you know, let me wrap up. Tomorrow we continue. Brothers and sisters, what a wonderful opportunity it's been. You know, this is unstructured. We wanted it to flow. You know, we wanted it to flow. We didn't want it to be something like examination. No, this is a conversation and discussion. We should actually be having this at the end of every course. And if the Lord tarries and grants us life, there are two or three courses before the end of the year, two or three courses before the end of the year, and we're going to also do likewise. Yeah, Pastor Jesse, uh, please, sister, can you come on, say something in one minute or two? I'm sorry. <laughs> what I want to say. Not one minute, 30 seconds, please. I understood in this uh, course, Woman Nature, that as God made us with his image after his likeness, I was learned to know that uh, there are three dimensional being, the spirit, the soul, and body. And in this course, only what I knew before, there's a song that said, praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. But now I came to understand the body, the spirit, the soul, soul being the buffer, between uh, the sweet man and the body. Thank so you. So I thank God, even how I used to do before, if it's before, I trouble this so too much. When somebody did something to me, I will, I will not like to forgive. But at last, that when after this study, I came to know that when you put something in your mind, you are killing yourself. This body, it's a temple of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you, brothers and sisters. You know, it's about the Lord. Remember, it's not about us at all. And not about us. No, we're just vessels. Every one of us must grow up into Christ in all things so that we can be all he ordained us to be. He chose us before the foundation of this world. And that choice carries with it the capacity to walk in true holiness and to be open to him, to walk a walk in us by his spirit, by the things he allows, by the blood of the lamb, you know, by the word of God. And these four things will always bring sanctification as we need it. Tomorrow we continue. So we're going to have a closing prayer. Um, Minister Michelle, could you just close us in prayer for today? And then we will... Continue tomorrow. Amen. Father, we just thank you for our visionary Apostle George, Father, how you're using him, Father. Continue, Father, to let the uh, uh, gate open, Father, so he can speak the utterances that flow from heaven. Thank you for each and every one of us learning your principles and how we should be holy because you are. Thank you, Father, for the lesson that we're learning and how you're drawing us close and um, taking off all the gross and all the weights and sins that we won't be able to stand before you, Father, with all these things on us. We just thank you. We honor you and we praise you. Bless each and every one as they go their separate ways, Father, and bless the, um, uh, the talk tomorrow, Father, as we come together with London as well. Thank you, and we give you praise in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen and amen. Before we go, Thank you so much. Before we go, please share the Facebook video. Share it to your contacts, please, so that they can watch the video of the conversation. And I think it's a good thing because the Lord wants to extend this. The Lord gives the word. Great is the company that publishes it. Always, always, every day when we study each lesson, that same video, share it to people within your loop of influence. We extend that grace and we are pleasing to the Lord. There are two ways to grow the work of God. One is denominationally. You grow a denomination as according to human imagination. The other one is the word of the Lord spreads. God does what he does with his people, empowers them. So please share the video today and tomorrow see you. The Lord help you. The Lord help me. The Lord help us. And by Monday, we begin a new course. You'll be You'll be very, very excited when you hear what this course will be. I won't wrap it up 
Sunday will inform you that this course is going to blow your mind. It's going to prepare you. It's going to give you the cutting edge you needed to be all the Lord wants you to be. Well, let me let the cat out of the bag. We're going to be studying on the most important asset a believer can have to become all God had in mind when he formed you in his mind and chose you. The greatest of all assets, let me put it that way, that's what we're going to study from Monday. And for two or three weeks, according to what the Lord may release, we're going to get into that cause. Get ready for it Monday. If you receive the revelation of that cause, you will never fail. That can be said with all certainty. Well, drop a line on the chat box before you go. But basically, we are prayed. You can just drop something on the chat box, you know, and that's it for today. Have a blessed day. The Lord be with you all. May the Lord grant grace. And may he infuse us with faith, grace and faith, with which we're going to run the race mm -hmm. until the very end. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye for now. Okay. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching. And we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook, Monday, all the way to Sunday, every day, by about 10.30 a.m. UK time. And that's the same of Nigerian time. And you, it's either Apostle George, Monday to Friday, uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace, uh, Friday to Sunday. And then in the evening of Sunday, we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6, after 6, another one up to 7. So please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it. We also visit our website, www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook we have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want. You can also, if you want to do the yes course or be, do the master class, you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it. You can also subscribe to our channels. This YouTube, gsom.tv and we also have a Telegram channel, gsom media. You can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com. We love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.